You see, when it comes to sound system culture, you can't beat sound system TV. You see, when it comes to social topic, you can't beat sound system TV. You see, when it comes to artists, reggae music, you cannot beat sound system TV. This is Lady V out of V Rocket International, and you are watching Sound System TV. Make sure you're subscribing up. Make sure you subscribe. Up top. Lord have mercy now. Ooh, yeah now, yeah now. Mercy be cruel. Run come, I'm massive and the crew. Run come, you need to be rocked. Massive and the crew. Run come. This is the now generation representative, Boss Peter, Robert T. Say something, people. Oh, you yeah, mean they're in a diamond tonight? We come honor the great sound V Rocket. You understand because they're the veterans in the place, of course, and we are here to honor it, is it? And we only day at your legendary status, never been. You don't know. You understand? I used to lay the V. There is no more, uh, no other sound owner in the business. One Lady V, man. All right. One Lady With v. as much integrity yes. as Lady V. Bless. And I respect. Bless. Hi, this is Philippe Wax, and I'm here live at the Savoy. Big up V Rocket, big up Lady V, which is Sound System Collective. Yeah, man, we can't wait to see. So, Taliba, don't run it, you know. Ah! Don't run it, don't run it. Okay. So, let me tell the people that not just the UK Sound System Collective, you know, but the Soundstress. Oh. We don't know, say, she's making big waves right now, and it's an honor and a pleasure for her to be here for the V Rocket Dynasty. Enough respect, you know. Keep up the good work, you know, sis, because. Roll madly no mommy. Oh. Roll madly. You so too. Enough you respect too. that you're there. Say you may learn from it. And that will you enjoy, right? Thank you. Thank you. Yes, this is Dennis Sky Club, Edge Night Club, Nottingham. This is my brethren, Nottingham. Not the front line, London. And we're here exclusively for this exclusive screening of V Rocket International. Documentary. Documentary. Bless up V Rocket. Bless up V Rocket. Lady V. Papa Bernie. Benji in the building. <laughs> Observer Superpower. Yep. Young yeah, man, V Rocket Dynasty. All right. Savoy so Cinema. So, what are your memories, yeah. man, about V Rocket? No, I remember one time we'd have played on our, we'd have played on our Leicester one night. And we know Savoy. We never really have as much tune as we know Savoy the dance done two o'clock. So it's like Savoy, we save everything till like the last hour now. We just turn it on for V Rocket and I bet the DJ them come here, you know, so the dance I got done. <laughs> That's it, so that? Yeah, man. Well, enjoy yourself. All I right. love respect for turning up. Respect, Valerie. You're done now. Every, every time. time. Yes? Yeah? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Some real icons, you know, what's up in the building? And Mr. Yes, Junior Blues. <laughs> Want you to introduce yourself for that? What do you mean, man? Junior Blues, my original Mr. Blues. Yeah, yeah. You know, see? Family, yes, too. Family, same way. One family. You know, see? One, one family, blood. this. Blood, one blood. Let's see? Yeah, yeah. One family, this. Oh, Let's Joe, we're from out of the Wasifa crew. Bless up. Michael Wasifa. Big up mm. D-Rackets. Mm. Big up the family. Big up. Mel, well, big up. Lady V. <laughs> Oh, we can go in now. Yeah, man, one of the long time selector. So, we have an iconic dub you now. A super cat dub. Where you mentioned president. Okay. See me. Alright, let's go. Yes, man. Alright, another legend. Tell the talk to me. Tell 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 me. Back on the road anytime soon, you know. You know, left the road. We not left the road. You know what I mean? Road. No, no road. Could have left, never left the road. Big Belly P. You know what I mean? Good enough evening, respect. lady. You know I mean? Enough respect and so much love every time. You know. Yes. So we don't know now. Is the screening the official screening? And yeah. looking forward to a great show. All yes. right. Yes. Enough respect. You know, respect, lady. Like, we'll as well. Jonathan's with us as well. 
Hello. You know what I mean? Hi. Hi, I'm Janet. Come to enjoy the evening. Great with Twinny. <laughs> with Twinny. Alright, no okay. respect. Alright, All right. yeah. Big up Mummy V, big up the whole V Rocket family, Martel there. Mummy V for life, you know, you don't know, you know, we're there, you know. Nothing now nah, change, you know. Love. Change what? <laughs> Only way that change. <laughs> Watch me say, time is the master for everything. No scary, Anna. Time is the master for everything. And listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. You don't know when you come out to V Rocket. You don't know you have a talk about Parliament. You have a talk about Ruben. You have a talk about the one lady who stand up in a pinnacle and all of the general. Lady V, Mother V, some call her mummy. Why you hear me now? Mother, come take this and deal with it. I'm emotional now. <laughs> <laughs> People know that from our um, world class. So, let's say good evening to everybody. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. And, and thank you so much for coming. It means so much to us because everybody here has been a part of our journey. Um, I don't really want to start. Uh, well, we have to pick up people still individually in the house. Seeing? Because a lot of icons is here tonight. ARM in the building, right? Yeah. Mr. Coos. One of the longest serving radio stations in the UK, Unique FM. Don't forget his, birth, his, his, his annual birthday party coming up. Um, I'm sure you've seen it on the screen since you've been here. Look out for that and also look out for the year to year, the 1st of January, best of the best. Roadblock every year. Tickets will be on sale for that soon. Before I get into things, I'm going to announce a few things for the diary. Pure, um, let's start with Cash Kid. Cash Kid in the building, right? Yeah, man. Stand up! Cash Kid is dub for dub. He started an online clash during the pandemic, globally. Him and Dixie has done great things. His anniversary is coming up on the 5th of November. We have a lot of sounds all over the UK. Um, I'm not going to name them, but look out for that one. Tickets are on sale for that. On, at the Oval Space in London. So big up yourself, Cash. <laughs> Joy is in the building. VP, where are you, Joy? <laughs> All the way from London. Enough respect, Joy. <laughs> okay, green sleeve in the building. Lots of icons in the building. A lot of the sign men them from all over the country to start naming them. I don't want to leave people out. What's if it's in the building? What are they? All right. Let me, let me just tell you something coming up with Wasifa because the history is massive with Wasifa. They're like our family. So on the 30th of October in Croydon, Wasifa has been nominated for one of the 2022 best sounds in the UK, courtesy of the Royal Air Force and um, here you go. Oh, move too fast. So they've reached the final three in the category. It's alongside the Black Awards um, coming up on the 30th of October. Alongside Wasifa for that award is Jashaka and your truly V Racket. <laughs> So three pioneers, it's going to be a difficult one, but guess what? We're winners in our own rights. So enough respect, Wasifa. Big up on yourself. Steel City's in the building, right? Well, power. Oh, you mean? Big up on yourself, skinny. Sona Greatness in the building, right? Empire. Empire. Observer superpower in the building. Enough respect. Immortal in the building. 
All right. <laughs> Gemini down in the building. <laughs> Select the Ike. There. In the building. Same. In the building. In the building. We don't reach Quantra yet, man. We're still there. Out of sea. We don't reach this yet. Nickel sample in the building. How does it feel? Maccabee Coventry. Make up yourself, Sly. No generation in the building. Love injection in the building. Java in the building. Why don't want me sort to find something? Why? Frontline Natty in the building. Taros in the building. Silver Star in the building. All right, let me tell you who else in the building. You know, you have to go at this studio for cutting a dub. V Rocket cutting them dubs from when him studio was in him house. Music house. Chris, big up yourself. Chris, big up yourself. Enough respect, Chris. Enough chemical you sit again every day now. And you still oppress the vinyl them. Let them know it's the vinyl still oppress. Johnny B in the building, enough respect. We build eyes in the building, brains. Enough respect, brains. Before we come to even some more of the sound, remember big up some of the ladies. Jay Davison in the building. Enough respect, Jay. Melonix, great singers in the building. Joe Buddha, good producer in the building. Come on, help me, guys. Who else is in the building? <laughs> Father Orbit's in the building. <laughs> Mordan is in the building. Go back to the Quantra's in the building. No first break on show. Little sample. Now it's a little sample already, man. Well, my sister is in the building. Big singer. And I've one of the biggest platform. UK Sound System Collective. Big it up to Taliba Wax. Big it up. <laughs> Lady Sandra B is in the building. And of course, Rastorella is in the building. Richard Rennick is in the building. Carnival organizer. He's in the building. The family big rocket. Well, I know we know the family big man. Sasha Brooks is in the building. Enough yeah. respect, Sasha. So, for everybody who is here, you will we'll, we'll see the, the documentary. If you don't see yourself in there, that doesn't mean. Hold on, never joke for them. So my sister said to me, say, a workman come check out. And I said, boy, I've got a documentary, you know. Because I want to see where Akali and me get in it, can be used to lift box. <laughs> Listen, if you've not been mentioned, of course I've got to big up the family, Jean, Sophie, Debbie, Elaine, Sancha, the old Robinson family, the old family. Big up on yourself. Big up my kids, big up my husband, kind of put up with me, you know. <laughs> when me was stressing the out, when me have my dance, I said, why one day if it go work? <laughs> on a big, big up on yourself, and of course, big up the full team. Ruben, Parliament, Ranking. Let me address Ranking. Clash can't sweet if you don't get a boo, you know. <laughs> so don't watch nothing. Everybody have to all a boo when it comes to Clash. <laughs> See? <laughs> so. 
We're going to announce some dances. We're going to move on with the documentary. But before we do that, I've got to introduce you to the director and the producer. He's flown in from America. Come join the Marcus, please. Big it up to Marcus. So, Marcus is the son of Parliament. Belly big brother. <laughs> Take off your hat, man. Let them see you're good. <laughs> So Marcus has been saying to us for the longest while, Lady V, you are my father and Ruben are get on in here, you know, man. The thing for document. Yeah. Good while him I preach it to him, I say, Marcus, I say, V, I'm going to set the thing. It has to document. The sound of my England for start document them things. So I quit start it. So just before the pandemic, Marcus contacted me and said, Lady V, I'm ready. Big up yourself, Marcus. Blessings. Blessings. All right, well, um, first, I have to big up the most high. Because without God, nothing is possible. And it is in him that we live and we move and we have our being. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I have to big up God first. Um, I want to say a big thank you to all of the cast members who are here. Um, thank you for your time, your efforts, and your contribution to the project. It is much appreciated. Um, thank you for just taking the time out to be a part of it. You know what I mean? And um, I want to say a special thank you to Lady V and my dad, Godfather Parliament. <laughs> um, special thank you to you, you both because thank you for believing in the vision when I presented it to you. Because in order for you guys to have supported it the way that you did, you first had to believe in it, you know? And you guys supported it wholeheartedly. And there's absolutely no way that I would have been able to do this project without your support, you know? Um, so, yeah man, clap it up for the general them. Yeah. Um, you know, they were so dedicated to it, you know? Dad, when I came here to the UK to do the UK shoot and start filming in the UK, Dad and Valby came and picked me up from the airport and we literally hit the ground running. You know, we left straight from the airport to Luton to start filming the first interviews with um, Sovereign and Unity. You know, and we was, it was a hard week, but was on the road from Luton, Nottingham, Birmingham, North London, South London, you know, and yeah, big up Sparky Rocket. Is there? Big up Sparky Rocket. <laughs> yeah. And um, Valerie does what she does best. She administrated and organized pretty much all of the interviews. Even when I went to Jamaica, same thing, hit the ground running. Landed in Kingston, jumped in my rental, drove to Portmore, dropped off my stuff, went straight to Spanish Town and started interviewing right away. You know, and Valerie lined up everything. From jammies to sky juice, everybody else. When I do that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So it just—it was a great journey, and I learned a lot from this experience, and learned a lot about the, more about the sound. And I tell you this: what I learned was is that big up to Mr. Doogie and the late Mr. Doogie and and and, and moms. Um, because they are the founders and the founding members. You know, um, and big up to all the foundation members, people like Skippy and, you know, Cotty, you got Tucker. You know, Bolo, I want to say upper enchilant. Big up to Bolo, Bolo. But all the found, I'm talking about the foundation guys before Parliament and Ruben. You know what I'm saying? Um, because they helped lay the foundation. But you see when, yes, I'm Babsy, you know, rest in peace, Babsy. Ranking, you know, and they laid the foundation. And any building that's a strong structure that's built, it has to be built on a strong foundation. But in order for the building to go up to become a big building, it needs columns that it's built on. And I refer to three columns 
in V Rocket. And those three columns are, are called Ruben, Parliament, and Lady V. And the reason why I call them the three columns is because I believe that if you would have removed any one of those three, V Rocket would never become the powerhouse that it is today. If you would have removed Ruben, V Rocket wouldn't have lasted. If you would have removed Valerie, I doubt that it would have lasted. And if you would have removed Parliament, same thing. So we have to honor them and salute them for their dedication and their work. Yeah. And I also want to big up my brother Belly and Valby because we can't dismiss what they have contributed either because for the last 20 years they have been carrying the flag. You know, Belly started playing the sound when he was a little teenager and he's carried it for 20 years as a youth, Iman Valby, along with the support with the elders them. And now we have to big up Marls and young Kina, the young shooter them who's, who's, who's moving with the sound right now. And big up the fire mark as well, and all the crew. So yeah, it's been a great journey. And you know, we put together this, we've documented the history. And the good thing about film is that in a hundred years, if this world is still here, None of us in this room will be here, but this film will still be around. Yeah. All right, so God bless everybody, and I hope that you enjoy the document. Yeah, before we start, we have to pick up the late Edgentana, one of our icons, you know. Saying, don't rush off when it's finished. We've got t shirts on sale. And, um, <laughs> And we, we, we can all vibes when it's finished. So if you haven't got a rush off, we'll be here until an extra hour, okay? Don't forget, there's a license bar if you want to nip to the bar. So here we go. This is V Rocket Sound. Yeah. Nothing up. We are going to kill us now. V Rocket is a bona fide, phenomenal sound system. Ruben and them man, and Parliament, them man, there is a man. When we look on them man, they string up sound in your feet. Look on them man, they say, Johnny. We know we then are going to go beat up nobody. But we say, you know what? We could go fling the two tune them we have and play with sound, you know. Sound system wise. Quick and give a lesson. I said, boy, I was more interested in this side of the sound. We kind of like work together to build the cabinet. I would design them. Valerie joining us was like a piece that was missing. Wherever we racket is, I have to be there. Because we racket is up here and the, and the blues and the ice and green spot, but it's not even, what is not even there anymore. It wasn't just the crew are just flying in with just music, you know. We are support the sound. 1987, V Rocket touchdown in Jamaica. Them are for there every day till night. We go home and leave them all the while. I'm here in the art of reggae music, mate. We know say them go to Jamaica now, you know, and come back and everything hot. So we have forgot the now, go face this. That was one hell of a dance. The techie clan. The techie clan will match up. Anything coming in front of me will keep my back. They must watch it as a country song. And let me come from Anton and town sound free. But anytime them buck up from we, it was always a problem. I will never forget that clash. When I said the dance, we ram it, no, the play, play ram. And I remember Rocket Day. You know, they surprised the London crowd. P Rocket, an English song. With yard style of him. Nobody can stop them. I know today. V Rocket, me I talk about them. People V Rocket, me I talk about them. That's how she knows it. That's how she knows it. Yeah. Them go to London, can control what? London. That was like a crazy dance. Um, v Rocket, yeah, amazing. Like V Rocket, the year to year England song. I'm used to study belly in and I set the part, to set the ball of the baller. The youth have to start playing on the song. You know? I'll be always and watch the audience and I look away to bust the crowd. I love that with him still, you know? 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm 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 the guy right now that's got a point to prove. His ideas then when bring to the table was really on point. When when I was let loose in the in the archive with the records, the 45s, the 12 inches, the LPs, the dub plates, it was like wow. I build a lot of sound and you don't even hear about them anymore, you know? But I'm still hearing about b -Rock. God bless them because if them never start the little 50 watt sound system, what our, our journey would be, we would never know. This sound is b rock it sound the whole world we've been around. Ah, yeah. The plate special, sound clash killing sound. So that is it, TV sound system. V Rocket, the sound of a dynasty. The movie is over. What a night it has been. So much sound systems up inside the building. I'm going to give you my verdict on the movie, look a little around, but what we're going to try and do, walk around, see if we can get as many people as we can speak to, and see if we can make something happen around here because there's so much sound systems, so many entertainers up inside the building right now. And I know that everybody's definitely going to want to be doing something. So we're going to definitely just walk around, see who we can catch from who we can't catch. And definitely look at later on, we're going to be speaking to the V Rocky family. We're going to definitely come around and see who we can speak to. And just definitely kick it off neatly. We've got the man himself, Michael Wassifer Brown. How are you doing, Michael? Big up yourself each and every time. First of all, how was it? A brilliant documentary for the, the world of the sound system. Take a heed from this progress. Documented thing just like V Rocket and go forward for the industry. Big up yourself. Now, the, another thing as well that's taking place with Wasifer right now, you have been like in the same kind of situation. You've been putting on some massive dances right now, some big, big events. Um, what makes, what makes V Rocket be the sound that they are right now? And what, 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 what do you think was one of the key things that you learned from, from the movie? Well, V Rocket is not just a sound, they must part of the whole fabric of the industry. It's a promotion, yeah? Um, the whole of advertising promotion value is like an anchor. So it's not just about playing sound and playing music and you go week and week out. It's part of the fabric of the whole industry. That means music, promotion. You can't, after all, it's a promotion because she helped promote not just V Rocket, the whole industry. That's what V Rocket do. So them stand out different to a lot of the other sound. Unless you got that in your backbone, you can't go forward. Right, Legendary. It. One rest from Immortal up inside the building. How you doing? Wagwan IP, you don't know man, my brother, man. You know how we do this thing, yeah. We are chop, we are chop, we are chop. So, yeah, Wagwan, we just watched the big documentary, V Rocket, bro. And yo, bro, I'm not lie. Mummy V, big up yourself, Parliament, Ruben, the whole team. It was a nice little watch. Don't worry, still, because you know me, know the most uh, summer journey. Tyrone, Tyrone, Melody, don't run away. You know me, like, you know me, know summer the journey. Seeing car as a youth, you know, me used to go over there with my father and all these things. So me know some of the journey. And brother, it was a good watch. Me as a sound member, sound system owner, sound system player. We all have to do something like this, bro. The documenting thing was sick, bro. Me not like talking or so. Here we go on. See it? Yeah, man, I get blessed up just. Here we go on now. Big up Immortal Sound. Big up Selector Hype. Me not left out Love Injection. And big up the whole of the sound fraternity. Rrrr. <laughs> that Tyrone Melody. You don't know Tyrone, but Hype. On a level Hype. You see these documenting things fire. Them, 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 them. That just show me say, we need. We need. You know me is not a person really. Hype no. Enough time Hype want video. And, and rare, rare, and me not really do them something here, but fire after watching that, yeah, give thanks, V Rocket. We need to document more. Yeah. Hype, big up yourself, continue up your every time. So, there you have it, man. One Ras Immortal Family Tyro, many of us are there. Like I said, we've been coming from these from a years and years ago. We need to start documenting these situations because Holy Persamon in there, hopefully, will leave here with that same mentality. TV sound system up inside the building, select the hype, just gonna keep it moving, see who else we can get and make sure so everything is definitely good. Observer Superpower is inside the building. Big Belly P, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you doing, Selector? Man, it's been, a, it's, been a, it's been a glorious night. Absolutely fantastic. What's your views on the, what's your views on the, on, on the movie? Um, you've, seen it, you've seen the full thing. Uh, just give us your views on it. Really enjoyed it. Give a good insight into how the sound was formed and everything about it. 
and it mirrors the image of a lot of sounds but it's also a good example of any sound coming into the thing watch this film because it tells you everything about this industry did you have any did you have any particular favorite part of it i enjoyed which bit yeah most as i say most of it was enjoyable the the favorite part for me though was when you know saxon was it yeah i think i think i, I, I think i think the, the funny part because when people yeah. watch it back yeah. is I'm going to say it, man. When yeah. Every time Mustard had come on, yeah. it looked like he didn't really want to say what he really wanted to say, say, which got the crowd yeah. in it, like, was all laughing and, and having that, a bit of fun and joke. So that was definitely a nice thing. Um, Observer Superpower, what's for the future plans? Right, well, we currently, obviously, with what happened at World Clash, so we're just reorganising things. We're coming back, trust me, and we'll be coming back. Better. Well, you just heard Val B say, anybody wants to clash V Rocket, check him. Is that somebody you're going to check? Once we, as I say, once we've got the team together, because we're putting a younger team again together, get that together, the tunes are there, we'll be, as Arnie says, we'll be back. All right, enough respect every time, yeah? Take it easy, man. All right. My good friend, my good friend, my good friend, how are you doing? I'm all, I'm all good, man, I'm all good. How was it for you? You know what, people? Is I'm not being biased or none, but it was one of the best sound system documentary Mr. for a long time. There's lots of sound, but the story behind V Rocket, big up to everybody involved in the sound. Sister V, Jano, it was nice. It was nice, and to see all of the sound fraternity from the UK here today, nice. nice. Any particular favorite part of the of the of the, of the thing? Man, I, I, I just got beer joke. I got <laughs> reality, but. The whole thing was put together brilliant. So. All right, enough respect every time, Mikey. Respect every time, yeah? Okay, Rastarella is live and direct. I'm going to edit all this up. Rastarella, how was, the, how was the night for you? It was a fantastic night and a very, very a good night for Nottingham culture, reggae culture, Caribbean culture, and of course, sweet reggae music. Are you originally from Nottingham? Are you residing in Nottingham right now? I'm from Trinidad. You're from Trinidad? But I live in Nottingham. You're living in Nottingham now? Yes, I do. I live in Nottingham. So V-Rocky must be playing a major part in you living in Nottingham right now. Well, as a, I've been here 22 years, but generally I'm a promoter myself, so I've worked with V-Rocket on many occasions, and I just think they represent reggae culture generally worldwide at the top aspect. And, and for me, people of Nottingham should respect them and respect what they have done worldwide. For well, well, working with V-Rocket as you've done, coming, that, coming here tonight and watching that, um, how did you feel sitting there watching such a great, um, a great documentary? I felt very proud because, as you say, it's a legacy. So when we all go on and we all drop out, it is there for people to know and understand. As, as Lady V said, the legacy for reggae music in this country and what we have done as Caribbean people and, of course, Jamaican culture and how deep and how much we have done and given into this country to represent reggae music. Thank you so much. You take care and I'll see you soon. OK, you too as well. So that's how we're doing it. TV Sound System, we're live and direct. We're just trying to get as many people as we possibly can. I'm going to hang out for a good while, you know. I feel like there's people out there just having a drink, some people having some conversation. So what I'm going to do is just kind of kick back, relax, and then eventually get some more and more people up inside the building and we can have a conversation on what was a great night. V Rocket, the Sound System Dynasty, it is out. And as you heard Valerie say, it is now on Amazon Prime. So you can go log on to Amazon prime and you can type in the v rocket destiny sound of sound system destiny and you know so everything is definitely good to go what a night yeah, man. how was it for you it was a good night you know yeah man me me see me see enough man from birmingham me see enough man from nottingham right and um them me like the way of valerie carlo a lot of the sound man them right because this thing this history thing right it need to get documented right because simply your history can be erased just like that. So a lot of people out there, they've got history and they need to talk it. So many sounds have got history out there. Was you pleased with, with the, the whole um, documentary? Was there anything that you thought was needed missing or anything like that? Personally, I think it could have been a little bit longer. Yeah, it, it could have been longer because for your sound that's spanning over 50 years, there's thousands more history. Enough more things can talk. You know what I mean? And, 
me, me, me like the business anyway. Me like the sound too, because me born in a sound system. Because um, originally, the sound what me play in Birmingham, right? Originally come from yourself, from Nottingham. Quantra sound, built by my two older brothers and Robert. Right, the man them are stand up over there. Them man them are Quantra man them, right? And the sound is 48 years old. Yeah, so if 50 years in two years time, but V-Rockets are going a long time. And to me, they've done good, brethren. How is it for you tonight? Um, yeah, man, as a sound, as a sound man, yeah, great for Sida. Great works, yeah. V-Rockets sound a good, 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 good thing where we, every song you have them documentary like this. You get me? Like myself too, like my father have sound from 62. My name is Junior Blues. You get me? As it's definitely giving the inspiration to go forward and do that. Yeah, we need to document our sound thing. Every every sound needs to do that. You know what I mean? Enough respect every time, yes? All right, yes, I. Dr. C, Empire Sound, how was tonight? Big, big look for V Rocket, would you say? Yeah, yeah, it's a good look. It's a good look for the sound system, there, man. Um, I think um, what V Rocket have done tonight is raise the bar again so that other sound system around the UK can come forward and tell them story and uh, I, I'm, I'm feel privileged to be here to be invited to be here tonight and I've learned so much tonight about the UK sound system that I've never ever ever seen or heard about before so big up to the V-Rocket family again the whole crew the whole world keep up the good work same way Enough respect every time. That's Dr. C, Empire Sound. Enough respect every time, yeah? Alright, yes, I. Gossy Silverstar is up inside the building. How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm really good, man. Car. Well, After what i just seen, I'm like, yeah, man. The future of UK sound system culture is in good hands. I thought it was an amazing look. Um, when you heard about the documentary coming out and you saw the little footage of the little preview, did you think it was going to be as good as it was? The thing is, I know Valerie and I know the V-Rocket family and I know when they set up their thing, they're always on a level of professionalism that, you know, I just knew that their thing was going to be different. But I'm not going to lie, the level that I saw today, I'm like, they, they've done what they've done continuously throughout the years in sound system culture is they've set a bar that, you know, the other people involved in the industry need to aspire to reach to. So I have to say, yeah, man. Big salute to the V Rocket Sound System car. Overall, a good look. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Really. This good. is the third time I've had this man <laughs> an interview, and I'm going to say it again. We're going to have to do an interview very soon. <laughs> Maximum respect every time. Well, I don't have to rush back to London. Okay, so it's back. Safe journey back, and enough respect every time. All right. Gossy Silver Star family, man. They're going on with things for a long time now. Enough respect. Marvin Empire, Empire Sound. Making Britain great again. Yeah, forward, we've, we've already spoke to Dr. C. Um, with, the, with, the, with the sad loss of uh, Queen Elizabeth, I guess making Britain great again is going to be like extremely, <laughs> extremely hard for you right now. I yeah, know. You know what's so Britain? Be, we'll make it great again already now. No, it's time to make it greater. <laughs> all right. Tonight it's all about V Rocket's documentary. How was it? How, what what, what do you, your overall views on, on the documentary? I, I, I want to tell you it was brilliant, you know. Because me I explain to the people, I never had England when them saw me go on. Okay. And I never have no knowledge on most of them things. So it was a ref eye opener to me right now, I tell you honestly. And most of the sound them right across the world who have that history and legacy there and sit down for it. They might forgot to do something like this, man. What do you think? I don't know if, if anybody's going to have as much footage because the footage, what they had from yesteryear, is absolutely incre it's crazy, it's insane. But would that be something that Empire would be like to do in the future, maybe? I want to tell you, say, it just like, inspire me for the better things and more things because some things we take for granted, you know, even the yeah, footage yeah. them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes yeah. we see a man with a camera with that shit and we don't realize say, it's a documentation of history. That's it, man. That's you understand? But you're going to suck me with that dude, man, because I remember, you know. I have a local story from my journey, you know, so just yeah. to put it together and build it up and get the right motivation for do something like this, but it's good. You know what I mean? When you think about what a lady we do as a woman in a business, a brother, trust me, she deserves every credit. But you know people always have them ways and them things, but what a lady we do as a woman in this business, brother, is unbelievable, dog. I know you're going to go and travel all the way back to Birmingham now. What's future plans for Empire? You might as well say it's the end of the year now. September, October, November. Three months you've only probably shower down the Christmas period. What yeah, plans for next year? Yeah, we have all of our plans for next year. All of our things in our pipeline. Funny enough, 
only for international deals and tours and them things. So, better 2023, you know? Okay. Yeah, man. Respect. Enough respect every time, yeah? yeah. All right, then, man. Safe journey back to Birmingham. That is Marvin Empire, you know, so everything is definitely good to go. I need to get tuned to Lady V. Also, V Rocky family are going to get in tune to them, so just keep it locked right to your TV sound system. You know what it is? Select a hype, I'm out. For me, you seem to be able to cover every single part of the sound system culture, from promoting events, to putting on big sound clashes, to putting on concerts, now you're going into documentary. What's next for Lady V? You know what? I, um, I want to wind down. When I say wind down, I believe I believe in youth, um, they're the future, um, and this is why the documentary is overdue, because they say, you know, it's never done before it's time, things don't happen before it's time, but as you've seen, you've got um, Valen Belly, you've now got Kino, you've got um, Marles, which is my son, Fire Mark, it's another step moving forward for the younger generation so I will always be behind the scenes um, and try to keep doing what I, I can do until the time comes where I know it's you definitely handed it over to good hands I mean the story the layout of how it was from beginning to the start the rivalry the way how even the audience, we was all on the same level, we was all laughing at the certain parts of, of, the, of the event, we was all shocked to see certain things. I mean, you guys going on Jamaica tour, like, who knows? There was stuff in there where really had people thinking, whoa, the level of where V Rocky was like, even me personally, I'm going to be doing my own review, look a later on, and the way I'm going to have to break this one down. I've got a good two hour drive to figure this one out, but it's going to be absolutely amazing. Lady V, I just want to say thank you so much and just continue the works. V Rocket is definitely going to stop now, but congratulations on the Amazon deal, man. That is absolutely amazing. That is something I can go home and watch my kids and, and show them these, these documentation, not only being it, making it being documented and just on YouTube or, or if a Facebook thing, it's on Prime, Amazon Prime. That's big deals, man. So once again, thank you so much. Anything you want to say before you go? Yeah, well, like I said, um, we, we couldn't have done this without um, the people who's been on the journey with us. We couldn't have done this without the people who took time out to be a part of the documentary. So big up to everybody who played a part in the documentary. We hope people enjoyed it. Oh, people will go to Amazon and watch it, spread the word. And most of all, I'd love to see a lot more of the sound systems, especially in the UK, document their journey. So that, that, that archive is there for, for, for their children, their grandchildren and for the world to see. So that's one of the pinnacle things. That's why we did it also, so that they can look at it and say, Look, we need to do the same thing. Fantastic work, fantastic, brilliant work. I'm literally going to go home, do my review. I'll probably end up watching it again just because I just, want to, I just want to be able to really see, say, yo, it is on Amazon Prime. I can watch it on my own TV. People, what we're going to do, we're going to put the link in the description. If you don't have Amazon, we can take it straight to there. Lady V, thank you again once more. And I thank you so much. You've always been there for, 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 for us. Um, not just for us, for the industry in the UK, you play. A, a, a really great part. I'm not just saying it because you're here. You, you go all over the country, you cover loads of things, you give a lot of people the strength. So, subscribe to, to, Thank you. to the clothing. Yes, sound system clothing, TV sound system. Well, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is some form of documentation as well. You know, we've been doing it for 10 years, but when you see the document, I've seen that. I says, this is what I'm talking about. This is what's needed. And I've said it many, many times to sound systems. We spoke to so many sound systems already. And they're going to be all driving back now. Yo, we need to go find them, picture them, you know. Go get the audio from so and so. And no matter how they put it together, as long as they can put it together and document it, it's all good. Yeah, yeah and I would encourage the sound system to save, um, save, save their video. Say, because I can say, honestly, that was one of the, the things that we were slightly lacking. Um, and again, I've got to big up Marcus Hall, the producer and director for this Parliament Son. It, it, I believe he did a great job because 
um, back in our times we didn't have the phones and stuff so a lot of stuff that we would have liked to have included as far as um, visuals is concerned live stuff um, it was difficult to get our hands on but he, he did the best of, of what he, he, he had and um, there was a crazy amount of footage and he had to pick the parts that told the story and um, yeah, enough respect to Marcus all the, the producer and the director phenomenal job thank you very much Marcus Okay, we're going to let you go now. Put your feet up. Pour yourself a nice glass of wine or something special. Put your head down. And thank you again so much for everything that you've done for Sound System Culture. Because this just, it just tops the icing on the cake, that one. Thank you again. Massive thanks to all the sound and the fans. Without them, we wouldn't be here. Enough respect, Enough respect every time. <laughs> it's V-Rocket, the next generation. And the next generation are not ramping. They're not playing around right now. What a documentary it has been. How's the journey been for you so far? And watching it on the big screen, finally with all these people tonight. I'm sure you might have seen the final cut, but then coming to a, a cinema like this, couple hundred people here, two, three hundred people. How was it for you? Yeah, it's amazing, you know, it's amazing. It's just seeing the reaction and um, just the little funny bits and everyone everyone reacting to it. It's been amazing, man. It's been It's been a hard journey. Um, putting everything together, even planning the um, premiere today. Um, so big up to Savoy Cinema, um, big up to everyone that's helped out. So yeah, man, it's been it's been a good experience. You must be one of the luckiest sound system sons in the world <laughs> to have a mom like Lady V, and you've seen everything that she's done, and then being here tonight, being a part of the team, part of the journey. Um, how proud are you? Yo. You know what it is, I see, I see what goes into it from being a kid, do you know what I'm saying? So even from being a child, I see the sleepless nights and the hard work up and down on the road that my mum puts in, do you know what I mean? So they say they say don't work, walk in a um, great man's shoes, so in this case, a great woman's shoes. So yeah. it's just for me now just to create my own legacy. So I never try and walk in my mum's legacy. I just try and take it to a different level and carry on carry on the thing you get me there's so many things that your future is looking mad bright right now i think it's a perfect time for v rocket to come out and do something crazy i mean we've, we've seen val like the last part of of the um the last part of his speech was like yo if i'm ready for clash come check me and also in the documentary you was talking about how important like clashing is for you but juggling side of things um just on a quick thing because the one thing about the documentary one thing about v rocket is and, and me personally, then, I would say, is I don't think man like yourself get enough credit. <laughs> this documentary now gave me a lot more insight into you, even though it was small. It gave me a lot more insight. I know, yeah, Lady V's son and this and the other, but you can see that you are on a serious mission right about now. Where can you see V Rocket going, um, literally, for the future now? Well, I think for the future, I think the sound needs to just go back into the Clash Arena and start taking on some sands and start killing some sands. Val and Belly, I know they're ready for the clashes. Me and Kino, we'll, we'll go on take the juggling and deal with the juggling while the man them go to war, you get me? So I think that's, I think that's the, for the future is for the sands to get back in the clash arena and then maybe in the next 20 years we've got a part two to the documentary or less time, you know what I'm saying? All right, I know that you're mad busy right about now. Thank you so much for taking the time out. No man, 100% man. Anybody you want to big up before you're out? Yo, just big up all, all the team, V-Rocket team. Big up everyone that came out today. Um, big up Savoy Cinema again for making it happen. Um, so, yeah, man, big up yourself. Yeah, man, maximum yeah, man. every time, man. Okay, I'll let you go. Enough time every time, yeah? That's DJ Amari. That's Valerie's son from V-Rocket. Big, big things definitely going on for him. TV Sound System, Sector Hype, we're still here. See if we can get man like... Belly, big up himself, Val B. He's extremely busy right about now. He had to rush off, but he says, select a hype, not say a word. We're going to get the interview with Val B another time. I've got to just say on camera, yeah. I underestimated you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got mad love, mad respect for you. But after tonight watching that, now the level's gone up there, Bridger. I swear, I did, the amount of passion that I've seen 
you exposed in the documentary was absolutely insane. I've seen you play in showdown dances. You do it with such ease, you do it with such grace. But to hear your passion in your voice and really looking forward to the future of V Rocket was an absolutely amazing thing to see, man. So congratulations going out to you each and every time. Um, I was saying to the rest of the members of the team then, how was it for you watching it on the big screen like that? You know what, it was very, it was very nice for me to see. Obviously I watched it, I proofed it and everything, but to see it come to life in the cinema, see our names up in like outside and the masses coming and rolling. And it was like, it weren't just a documentary. The people, we got the people laughing, you know what I mean? There were certain points in there where people said certain things and you know what I mean? People, oh, we didn't realize that, you get me? So just to see the whole vibe in the cinema, through the, through the documentary. It was, it was amazing, I'm not even lying. I love the support that we got and you know what I mean? I hope everyone enjoyed it. Yeah, from the, from the feedback what we're getting out here, everybody absolutely enjoyed it. How important was it for you to get this document, um, to, to get V Rocket and your journey uh, documented? You know what it is? Obviously, the sun um, was founded in 1954. So it's a big history, it's a big legacy, you know what I mean? And obviously my dad, co-owner with Valerie, my Uncle Beefy, the people them who started it out. One, one thing I always criticise them about is you guys didn't keep enough footage. You know, I mean, we've got pictures, but the footage, even though it would have been black and white and yeah, it wouldn't have been as quality yeah. now, where's the footage? And I know there's some people who did the footage them and got the video them put down, yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's just getting access to them. So for us to get it, in one doc, well, not everything, but to get it on one documentary and be able to have it here to evidence and show the people the issue of the thing and stages of the thing, it's just like, wow. Well, I can just say congratulations. It was a huge success. It is now on Amazon Prime. I mean, right. the things that's insanely mad. I mean, like, we can literally go home yeah. and put it in Amazon Prime. When you heard that, that um, news that you was going to be on Amazon, how did you feel? You know what it is, obviously, car, you know, Marcus or my brother, big brother, he produced it all. So every step of the way, we've been in contact. Even though he lives in America, we've been in contact and he runs everything by me. And you know what I mean? I said, so what's the process? He explained the process to me. And then I just got a message off him saying, yo, Amazon Prime, they've done all the quality checks, passed all quality checks and boom, it's on there. You know what I mean? And obviously, there's probably documentaries about sound system on there, but I think UK sound system and of s such a high quality and put together thing, it's crazy, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's absolutely. I think, to be honest, it's, it's the only one that's on there. I have Amazon Prime, which I, I watch. Uh, what do I watch on there? BMF. 50, I only got Amazon Prime for that, and I've, stood, I've gone through all the music stuff, and there is nothing up regarding sound system culture. And if there is, I guarantee you, it's not gonna top yeah. this one. Yeah. This one is gonna be something that maybe Amazon will be looking into doing other things. This is why I think sound systems should be going out there and doing their own documentaries and 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 try and get a spin-off from this one. Yeah, hundred percent. That's what I was saying. I've said it to many people like me. This has been great to be a part of, and obviously great. I, I've heard the history over the years, but for me, you not even just UK sound systems, sound systems abroad, I'd love to sit down and watch an hour, hour and a half, two hour documentary. The history of Java, the history of Cox, and the history of Saxon, the history of bass, you know what I mean? I love the culture, so I'd love to be able to sit down and watch a world put together like this, you know what I mean? And I'd just say, yo, if, if 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 you can get it done, you know what I mean. Don't wait. And I have to salute. I have to salute my bro for having the vision. Yeah, and, you know what I mean. Get him on camera. Yeah. I really want to have a conversation with him because the works that he did was absolutely insane, man. So yeah, we're gonna wrap it up there. Thank you so much again. V Rocket again. Levels, man. Took it to a totally different level. We'll link up very soon. And thank you again. Okay. Respect every time. We want to keep it going. It's V Rocket's documentary that they're doing it, and it's absolutely insane. It's been popping off. And hopefully we're going to speak to more and more people them up inside the building and make sure we can make something happen right here. Make sure you keep it locked. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. Select the Hype TV sound system. We're talking, we're talking the new generation. The man them who are going to take this thing to a next level. What a documentary, what a footage and what a part of history for you. It's a big history to be honest, especially coming in last year off of, of a sound and just taking in the new history and everything that I can, that I can build off now, just seeing the whole thing itself. 
It's a great experience. You seem to have this extreme positive attitude towards the future where V Rock is going to go with the footage of what they've, what you've seen, the history of what they've got, the music, the catalogue of songs, the experience of the members. Um, where where can you see V Rocket going from here? Obviously, right now we're juggling, so I'm more focused on the juggling side, but. I want to clash, I want to get out there, I'm young, I'm hungry. <laughs> I seen what they did back then, and I know what Belly and Val can do, but I want to show what me and Mars can do now. So, along with that, I want to see what we can do in a clash scene, but right now it's juggling, we're focused on but How's juggling for you right now? Because a lot of people, them, how's the dance or juggling, away from the documentary for a short minute, but how's the juggling side of things for you right now? Juggling, to me, is different. It's all about pleasing the crowd, and having that maintenance of music and knowing what you're doing. Yeah. But you can't just play every music. A lot of people just play any music and they last 10 minutes in a dance and the other 45 minutes done. Mm. So you have to know what you're doing, maintaining it. Mars is great at mixing and me with my experience of talking as well, it's a balance, it's key. Yeah. I think you're going to be absolutely dominating the next couple of years from now. I think this documentary only shows just how good V Rocket are as a sound or where they're going towards the future. And that must give you the inspiration to say, yeah, I'm going to keep this legacy alive, sort of like 100. Most definitely, man, most definitely. I can't thank Moomin V enough and Belly and Val, and Parliament, Mars, for bringing me on board. It's going to be a great, great future coming ahead. Well, I congratulate you all the time. Maximum respect and we'll definitely link up in the future, yeah? All right, enough respect every time. There we go, in Massive. The, the thing's absolutely crazy. V Rockets, the new generation, look out for them. Might have to have a separate interview with them because I want to know what these youths are doing 2023 and beyond. Keep it locked, TV sound system. TV sound system. <laughs> I was about to lick the motorway and then I could not do it without bringing in the big man himself. Yo, what can we say? What a documentary, what a footage. How was it for you? It was uh, quite emotional and it was entertaining as well. You know, it was entertaining. What was it like? Because I've asked most members of V Rocket, um, maybe, did you see the final cut? Or was that the first time you were seeing it? Um, no, I, I had a glimpse of it before. Okay. How was it sitting in a cinema? People eating popcorn oh. with 300 like-minded V Rocket fans watching it with you? It was incredible. I was surprised at, you know, the reactions and how it was actually, you know. But um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was great. The footage and documentary of V Rocket just shows just how great V Rocket is as a sound system. Um, the amount of time and effort that you've put in, I really have to take hats off to you guys because for me, V Rocket was a great sound, but I didn't know that much history. That really had me nearly wanting to take off my shoes and kick back and really take it in. I was so happy to, to congratulate you as well on the Amazon Prime link because I can literally go home and watch that over and over and over again. Yeah. Your, your talent, your experience, your knowledge, your humbleness and your honesty also on that yeah. documentary was absolutely outstanding. Is anybody you want to big up before you're out? I want to big up Muscle <laughs> <laughs> Do you know... Do you know what? Uh, th that was one of the main points where everybody was laughing, and there it was like it was all together on the same level, the same, the same platform. But yeah, my big up muscle head. I want to big up Billy, rest in peace, Billy from Love Injection. I want to big up Festus and Blacker from Ota Caxon. You know, Festus I'm a mentor. Mm -hmm. He is one of who met me. Is all me is around sound system and playing music, all me playing music. Me is like him, like play music where nobody else can play and I change it up when you hear me next week, it's a different selection. As Belly was mentioning, I saw me bring him to deliver them way there. Mm -hmm. And um, big up all the fans, dance hall fans, I mean I talk B racket fans alone, I talk all the dance hall fans them in England. You know? And anytime when you see this man now, when you press the thing. When I hear me, it might do enough works, good works. Enough respect, you know? Yeah, work. We're going to let you go. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And what can we say? We just hope and pray for the best that V Rocket continue that great legacy. And I'm sure you're going to do 100% to make sure that happens. There's a lot more to talk about, but you know, here time and the window. Mm -hmm. We have to go to our chapter two, three, and four, maybe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Enough respect every time. All right. Thanks again, yeah? 
Yeah. The rockets on a bend the dance again. The rockets on a run the dance again. Yeah, yeah, I feel the vibe. We feel the vibe. The rockets on your song, it's so nice. Yeah. We can feel your love, oh, flowing on me, thank God. Give dance to the rocket music. Help me positive vibe. See, Parliament has said no positive chart to the heart of mankind. The rocket bring back love to the heart of the people. Bring back sweet, sweet love.